got day two, PLO eight. A little bit shorter stack, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna flow. We got the monsters of back if we need it. And Flow Nation, we got four caches. We're on our way, we're turning it up, getting it going. We're rolling. We'll see you over there. The real, let's get it done today. Let's go Flow Nation. Not the dream, we get in, we get ace three, three, six, double suited, under the gun, and we're, uh, it's a couple guys not there, so it's like seven handed. Uh, we get it in, we, sh we ship it, we pot it for our six bigs. Um, gets to the big blind, he calls, he has the, unfortunately the ace deuce, which is a better starting low, and he has an ace deuce king at, the, I believe, seven. Um, our hand's actually pretty good. Like, we have two flush draws. We can still make a really good low if a deuce comes out. We can actually win that. And uh, we have, you know, flush possibilities. We can hit a set. So, unfortunately, it was a king queen four flop. Two clubs, though. We had a nut flush draw. We could scoop up full double, um, but it ran out four jack. Brick, brick. No low, but he had the ace deuce low anyway. And uh, we are out, so we did not cash. I think like 125 cash, we got like 150th basically. So that was a bummer. Found out the monster stack, you can only play one time. You get 15,000, so it's about four hours in since we just busted the uh, PLO8. So I figure it's better, let's start fresh. It's a great tournament. We'll start that tomorrow at an early start time, get our full 15,000, have a lot of play, and just take the day to regroup and be Get our workout in, relax, get a good sleep schedule, catch up on everything, because it is a lot of work to do all this. And, you know, sometimes you just get a little burnt out. So we got our fourth cash yesterday, and now we're gonna just take the day and get situated, get organized, and work out. So we'll go check in, get our food with All-American, and then we'll, we'll go from there, see where we're gonna do the rest of the day. Bummer, Flow Nation, we're still strong. I got an announcement. I got an announcement. One sec. I just thought about it. We have been coming in too many tournaments, even yesterday. The multi-tabling was fun, it was cool. We built up a big stack in one, we had a good stack in another. We ended up min-caching, well, we cashed the giant. We then busted, kind of didn't really give ourselves a great chance. We're in the PLOA, we got short, we ended up busting it. I want to come in fresh. I want to show what we got. We're juggling a lot. We are doing a ton of stuff with the vlogging, running around, there's all kinds of projects, all kinds of stuff happening. I'm getting organized today. I'm just completely getting all the like random stuff on my mind, appointments, the dentist, the this, the new drivers, all these things getting situated, organized. We're gonna flow, we're gonna come in early tomorrow for the monster. I'm excited about that tournament. Over a million dollars the first $1,500 buy-in. We're gonna come in focused, not super late, we're gonna come in relatively early. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna play our best, we're gonna come and give events our best. We're not gonna come in late, we're not gonna come in distracted. We're gonna get centered, grounded. We have four caches, and they're not in some of the hugest buy-ins we've played either. So, you know, the summer's been going not exactly as planned, but we still are doing pretty well, and we're playing well. It's just we haven't given ourselves the best opportunity to be successful. So that's what we're committed to right now. We're just putting our foot down. I'm not gonna go let register now after dinner and start late in the monster. I'm gonna come in with chips. I'm gonna come in fresh, focused, right to flow, no excuses, big day. Our summer officially is gonna get grounded and organized and relaxed tomorrow. The vlogging has been a great project. I'm having a blast doing it. It's definitely been a lot of work and I enjoy it and I'm gonna keep doing it. We're gonna keep getting better, but we're also gonna just focus on our playing as well. So I wanna say to Flow Nation right now, get locked in, get ready for the big stack, big bags. You know, it's been too many like 15, 20 blind, 10 blind, day twos and uh, min cashing and then getting it in good but too short to do damage. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna play some power poker now, we're gonna come in deep stacked, we're gonna come in earlier, we're gonna come in focus, we're gonna come in energized and we're gonna bring the pain. We're gonna bring it, we're gonna do it together. I'm just telling you guys right now, that's what's happening and I'm, I'm feeling it. This is the flow, we're making a declaration right here, right now, we're gonna shut it down, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna get a good sleep, we're gonna get everything organized and we're gonna come in fresh tomorrow. So that's what I'm telling you right now. We'll be in the gym a little with All American Dave, but this is what's going on. No more super late reg, we're coming in locked in. Lock it in, let's do this. Swan E, taking a nap? Holy shit, that was a minute ago, he's texting me. This guy, man, Swan, are we, I just had a, 
sleep. You really want to sleep? Wow. I'm asleep. But I'm energized. I had a coffee. Swan is I'm chilling. Right. I was thinking I just had a coffee and I was falling asleep. But What's I going on? I fell asleep right there. Are we on film? Yeah, you want to turn off? I can take one minute cat naps. That's what happened. That's, what happened that's, right that's when you're really grinding right that's, now. That's grinding. That is serious. What's going on? Let's have a good workout. I need it. So on one hand today. that chest. Five. Feel it squeeze into a contraction. Switch legs. So keep going. Don't stop. Eight. Come on. Okay, two more. Squeeze hard. Last one. Squeeze your chest and hold it, hold it, hold it. Good job. Alright, that concludes the chest workout. We are gonna get some bonus time in. Get the abs in here. So Swan's trying to figure out what we're doing here. Looks like he's finding, figuring something out. So cable crunch, we're adding a little bit of tension to our abs rather than just doing it. So we're going to start with this and pretty exhausting. So here, the, the goal is we're trying to just close the distance between our rib cages and our hips, right? So we're here, we're just trying. Time for a shake. The best part, best part of working out, so getting a shake. If you're not, what, what can they do if they don't have an All American shake? What do they do? If you're egg, just make sure you get protein in after. Yeah, I mean, workout. you, you want to get protein, some good carbohydrates. You don't have a blender, you don't have shakes, you don't eat. I mean, obviously, whey protein is fast digesting. It's loaded with all the amino acids necessary for for growth. So, if you have whey protein, eat whey protein. Some, I used to do whey protein and white rice. Something fast digesting to help fuel. Basically, the rice is the shuttling of the nutrients, which is the protein out to your muscle cells. So people ask me what are the the ingredients. I told them I said so. It's uh, protein, which is yep. using isopure. Whey protein Wait. isolate is good. It's isolated. The the it's, it, the impurities are out of there. It's just a pure burning form of protein. You're gonna get more out of it. Okay. And um, then what about um, and then fruits? So you can choose to kind of. Yeah, I prefer fruits. I mean, te technically speaking, like uh, your your muscle glycogen could get filled up the faster with like rice. It's where we use rice milk in ours, uh, but I like fruits because of the health benefits long term of it. But it's fructose; it'll fill your liver glycogen a little faster than will your muscle glycogen. But a mix. It's why rice milk is really good to use, and then fruit like melon fruits, bananas, stuff like that. They're fast digesting; they're high, high, higher sugar content. But also, you can't get away. I mean, you can't say berries are bad for you, really. So yeah. we use in, in my classic shake. I use a couple ounces of. of Banana, a couple ounces of mango, and a little bit of blueberries and raspberries. It's like a perfect blend. That's the All American Day Classic Shake with uh, some rice milk and whey protein isolate, and it's mine. It is. I'm, yeah. uh, I must say, I'm, That's I'm feeling pretty good right about now. it. I can't myself. wait. Just talking about it, I can't wait to get it. That's so, good. All right, good stuff. Uh, That's good. Let's head over and we'll shut down the workout again. No real poker today. We're gonna get organized. We're gonna go through our plan. We're gonna show you what events we're still playing. Give you a catch up where we're at and what's been going on. So again, a relaxing day today. But we need it. We need to get re-centered, refocused, and make for a big push here down the last third of the World Series. So I think it's really important if you're playing. You know, it's easy to get in a in a, in a kind of cycle where things aren't just going amazing, and you just kind of do the same thing. So we're shaking that up, taking a day sort of off, and getting in the monster day one B tomorrow. We elected not to late reg after dinner, which I'm happy with that decision, and we'll see how it goes tomorrow. But we'll check in a little bit. Guys, anytime we see the Miz, he's just gonna make it on the vlog. That's just how we do it. It's hard to even balance this camera. He's so much taller than me. I'm just gonna guess. We're gonna put it right here. So, Miz, give us what's going on. You're in the monster? I'm in the monster. I came a little bit late after dinner break, had 7,000, and then all of a sudden, just won a pot, and then won another one, and then 
like a, like th three or four more, and then all, now I have sixty five thousand. Wow, the that's Mizzy, how it works. Mizzy might win the monster, so we're gonna be playing tomorrow. We took the day off after being eliminated from the PLO eight. Congrats on your what third place in the third place in the 10K limit of hold'em. Hold yep. Is he going back to the roots, the fundamentals? So I I know this story, but it is a very interesting and sad story at the same time. Uh, why don't you can you mind reliving one more time this hand because it was a very interesting hand. Essentially, it was probably for the bracelet. Most oh yeah. And basically, you got a bracelet pried away from you. Pretty much. Tell us and, how, and that's happened. happened. That's already happened twice. So for this to happen again, it was like nostalgic. It was like reliving that nightmare. But okay. basically, like I had the pot, the, the jack, and the jack. Two jacks, good okay. Man. On the, in the small blind, we're playing three-handed. Joe McKeon raises on the button, um, and I re-raise. He calls. The flop comes jack eight seven. Wow. All right, so I'm like, all right, well, Top this, set. this is a pretty good, a good start. You know, it's a good start. So I, I bet. He calls. The turn comes an ace, which is a great card for me. You know, like yeah. he gets his ace, X's, whatever. I bet. He raises, I'm like, okay, let's party. I re-raise, he goes all in, I call, and he's got the ace and the seven, okay? Wow. The ace and the seven. So it's like, you know, both of us played the hand perfect. Right. But, um, unfortunately, for me, the ace came on the river, and that was, that hurt a lot. That's... It really did. Because had I won that pot, Joe McKeon would have been out. I would have been heads up with uh, not Joe McKeon, someone else. And uh, and I probably would have won the bracelet. Wow. And I would have been guaranteed an extra 60,000. So if I'm not ambitiously thinking like, oh, I'm gonna win the bracelet, it's at least another 60,000. So essentially it was like, Hundred and twenty thousand dollars. And just heads up, Thunderdome bracelets. Like I mean, I mean I've been a guys, we've had too, too many yeah. of these moments. Me and the Miz. Miz and I, we actually had a standoff because we both have had so many seconds and heartbreaks and thirds. But Mizzy and I got heads up in Premier League season seven, 125k buy-in in Canada at Playground Poker, uh, greatest place ever. And it came down to a head. One of us, something had to give. One of us had to win at that someone, point. Someone, someone had to win with the Queen Eight versus the Queens, right? I had pocket someone Queens. He had Queen Eight. It was all in pretty. You can see that on our YouTube channel or on there as well. That that hand hurt, but. But, you know, I was short at that point. There was a crazy hand in there. Anyway, Some nice the hands. Miz, hug, hug your Miz, love your Miz, hug out your Miz, man. And uh, Mizzy, good luck to you. Thanks, I will buddy. You. I'm gonna bag a similar stack as okay. you, whatever you end up bagging, and then we'll do. Let's swaps, do a little five swap. ball, maybe. All right. Yeah, we can do that. But Not we'll, confirmed. We'll get closer. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get, we'll we'll get, get closer. My love. <laughs> so, Miz, Flow Nation supports you. Later. took our day off, enjoyed it, relaxed, got stuff done, worked out with All-American Dave, got situated, and then tomorrow we're gonna start fresh in the Monster Day 1B. Uh, we've game planned, we've looked through the rest of the series, we've taken some time, I wanna show you what we've done. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you on the whiteboard what we've done, we're really just, I feel a little more balanced, a little more relaxed right now. So let's go inside and check it out. Milwaukee just threw this a little bit, what we got going here. So this is gonna be our daily routine, which we had written already, but we just rewrote it and we wrote it a little more emphasized. We're gonna do meditate and breathe when we wake up, do a little bit of stretching, not necessarily a full yoga session, but we will kind of stretch it out, do a couple of the yoga positions. Five weeks of fitness, we've been doing that. We're on day 26 tomorrow. Uh, Portuguese Duolingo, I like to try to get, brush up on my Portuguese. And then also I wanna pray and be grateful every day. Say something I'm grateful for. Uh, and, and what for the day. Um, just basically give my thanks to, in general, just being grateful for having another day. So, up here now, we go, and we have a 2017 result, so we're showing so far what place we've got, what event it was. As you can see, it's some of the smaller buy-ins. We haven't done ran so well, done so well in the, the, the two, 2K, 2500s, um, 3K, 5K, so we're definitely stuck on the summer. We're gonna get a total for you this week, figure out exactly where we're at. This is also what's upcoming. So you can see I've written basically all the remaining events after the monster. There's a 3K PLL, that's an afternoon mile. The 1.5K bounty, uh, 3 p.m., you know, telling you a date, time, what the event is, and what number event it is all the way down to the main. We also have some exciting stuff with the uh, the online events. Those are with the asterisks next to it. You can see on July, July 1st and July 7th, that'll be up on State Kings. We'll have some action. It's a re-entry bracelet event online. I will stream that on Twitch 
jeffgirlspoker.tv. You can check that out if you're not already following us on Twitch. Um, and then also what I want to mention exciting that I'm going to start doing and I haven't been doing this summer is having a plan every day. So like for tomorrow, what event is it? What number is it? 1B monster stack. What time does it start? How many chips do we get? What are the levels? What time is dinner? What time does the day end? Having a plan saying, okay, I'm not realistically, I'm not going to start at 10, but maybe I, I'm going to start by noon. I think that's realistic. Take my time, respect my opponents, realizing it's a smaller buy-in, a bigger field, going to be generally a little weaker competition, but realize they know how to play as well. Um, and then also, uh, I'm setting a goal for how many chips I want to have, which is 8x starting. I think that's a good goal and it would be a really healthy stack. Also noting today what the biggest stack was, what the average is, how many started, how many remain. So what does this mean? This means that we're refocused, we're re-energized, we're really mapping out, getting a good feel how much we have left of the summer, what events we have left. Maybe thinking about some mistakes we've made, some of the hands, some of the days. Now, obviously, a couple of them we have didn't run so well, but some of that is a function of being short, maybe not having. And oftentimes in a tournament, it's not your last hand. Yo, I lost ace king to ace queen all in preflop. Why were you short? Why did you have less chips? Maybe you made a, a mistake in an earlier hand. Maybe you did something you could have uh, value bet differently or you missed a bet or you called a bet that you would have more chips. So oftentimes it's not your last hand when you bust in a tournament. I think that's important to remember um, that you know you can say, oh, I lost kings to aces or I lost a set over set, but maybe you could add more chips or played your hand differently. So anyway, something to think about and I think that's important for us to start becoming a little more focused, a little more grounded, a little more aware. Instead of just darting into a tournament, late regging, not knowing what's going on, really have it, looking at the structure sheet before, I'm well aware tomorrow how many chips you have, have a good gauge of what how many chips I want to have at certain points. So we're gonna start doing more and more of that, getting more focus and let's see if we can have put up some better results and better stacks for these uh, events. So we're going to uh, shut it down, get a good night's sleep, and we will see you in the Monster Stack tomorrow, which is a $1,500 buy-in. It's 1D. It's not a re-entry. It's a one-time chance, not even per day, just one total. So we will play our entry tomorrow, and we should be in there around noon. That's my plan, and I'll see you in the morning.